Hi everyone, it's Miss Heretic again. Today's book is Ruby Finds a Worry. Look at Ruby's face. What do you think she's feeling or what do you think she's thinking? Let's find out. Look at Ruby, looks nice and happy. She looks like she's spinning around. Ruby Finds a Worry by Tom Percival. Ruby loves being Ruby. She loves to swing up high. And she loves to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day. What do you think she's doing in the garden? What do you do in a garden? Let's find out. She discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first, Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. See how Ruby's face changes? And she's feeling something. Each day, her worry got a little bit bigger. But it just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the breakfast cereal, and it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teachers. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. What do you think that Ruby could be so worried about? She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there and stopping her from doing things that she loved. What do you think that Ruby could do that wouldn't make her worry so much? Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you could ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now the worry was enormous. Enormous is a really big word. Look how her worry just got bigger and bigger and bigger. It could barely fit into the kitchen at dinner time and it filled up half the school bus. Do you think that Ruby had a reason to worry? And what do you think that could be? And it took up the whole rows at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park and he looked how she felt, sad. And the next thing she noticed, something else, something hovering next to him. What could it be? Could it be a worry? Do you think that maybe Ruby can go talk to him and they can talk about how they're feeling? And maybe he just needs a friend. It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind. And as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Why do you think that his worry began to shrink? And do you think Ruby's worry will shrink too? Then Ruby did the best thing that you could ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the world tumbles out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for a long time. The end. That was such a good story about showing your emotions and talking about how you feel. And if you ever have a worry, you can find a friend or a parent or a teacher and just talk about your emotions. That's all for today. Bye, guys.